Hi there guys and welcome to my channel once again and today I have a question for you. How can you use your already existing browsers to open multiple instances from them and access the same website from different locations, all from the confinement of your room and from your own PC that you have these browsers installed on them. So uh, I'm going to show you step by step process on how this actually works. Now without much further ado, let's get to the point. Alright, so the first thing what we're going to do is that we're going to choose a specific uh, location where we're going to create a folder where we're going to store our web browser instances. So in this video I'm going to do this on my PC in my document section. So uh, here we go right click and uh, we're going to open a folder which is going to be called whatever you want to call it. So uh, since I already have Chrome instances which I already created. Now I'm going to do the same for another Chrome Instances session. So I'm just going to call it C2 Instances. So this C2 Instances is going to be Chrome but just the second iteration of its instances. So here we're going to see that this folder is empty. Now what we're going to do next is that we're going to go here and create a simple text file which we're going to call uh, Chrome Instances. Once here in the Chrome 2 Instances text file, what we're going to do right now is that we're going to go and uh, type code. So uh, this code is going to give instructions to this PC how it can open multiple instances of our Chrome browser. So uh, the first thing we, what we need is that we need to find Chrome exe file, which is located on the computer. So I'm just going to copy this target location and then just uh, head here and paste it. So uh, make sure that it has to be between these quotation marks. Now do a simple space and type two minuses. And after them we're going to add command to the code which is going to actually create new Chrome instances for us. So the code continues as follows user, data and directory. So this is the code that we're going to use to generate new instances. After we define user and uh, where it's going to store the data and directories where data is going to be stored, we have to type in the equation mark and after the equation mark we're going to enter the quotations and between them we're going to paste our location where we're going to store the data. So this is going to be this. So we just copy this here. You can simply click on the pathway in this window here. Just copy this and head back to our text editor and paste it here between these quotation marks. So this is going to be the place where new Chrome windows are going to be uh, storing information like cache and cookies. So here uh, I'm going to show you how this actually works. Now once we have added this pathway between these two quotation marks, now we're going to modify this a little bit by uh, using backward slash and create instance one. So uh, what it does is uh, that this creates a folder which is named instance one and put the new Chrome data into the folder of instance one. Now once we have edited this, uh, what we need to do is that we just need to copy this code and head back to the start button and type cmd which is Windows command prompt where we're going to enter this code. Simply control V and then hit enter. Now what you see is brand new Windows Chrome uh, instance and uh, it is being stored uh, in the instance one folder what we previously edited in the code. So let me show you how this works. Now if we head back to the folder where we created those instances, you can see uh, that there is this new folder instance one. Now uh, what we can do is just create several of these instance folders. I'm just going to name them uh, for example uh, instance 2, instance 3 or something like that. And uh, these are the folders where our next Chrome iterations are going to be storing the information. So what we're going to do next is just head here and once here uh, on this window we're just going to uh, go and uh, hit Chrome 
web store now we're going to visit the chrome web store and here on this web store what we're going to do next is that we're going to search for some vpns uh, for example of this video let it be touch vpn touch vpn is an extension that allows us to visit the same website from multiple locations so what are we going to do now is just hit add extension and once it's installs we're going to have to also enable it to run in the private windows so once you hear this sound it means that this is installed and uh, let's ignore this let's get here and pin it to our chrome browser window now hit these three dots here and click manage extensions once on the extension menu down below you're going to see this allow in incognito and once you hit it allow it is going to also run in every incognito window that you're going to need so why is this important it makes sure that uh, Windows Chrome once closed also deletes automatically all the cache and cookies that it's stored so that you don't have to do this manually on your own. So right now I'm just going to uh, hit uh, X and also I'm going to clear cache and cookies from this browser uh, because I already searched something on Google. So right now I'm just going to hit clear data and the next thing what I'm going to do uh, is just going to close this window. So uh, let's head back to our text editor here and uh, in order to run this uh, in incognito mode we just have to make one space more click this minus button and type incognito and after we do this we're going to go down below and we're going to paste uh, the same code several times uh, i created five folders so i'm just going to name these instances accordingly so uh, it is three it is four and it is five so if we want to run all future chrome windows into incognito mode we just need to have this incognito next to every single line of the code but before we can uh, start this code there is one more step what we need to finish so let me move this a little bit uh, further away now once we see this instance one folder we're going to copy uh, the entire content out of it to every single other instance so that we do not uh, go to each window and uh, repeat the same time consuming process of going to chrome web store and uh, downloading uh, extensions for each of these instances so once this is finished we can start this code and uh, we can start uh, all other chrome windows in incognito mode with already pre-downloaded extensions from the first iteration and uh, you can use this to access websites quickly all right once this has completed itself uh, we're going to head here to our code and then just copy it head back here to the command prompt and then paste it so now you're going to see that this opens all those chrome windows into incognito mode so here you're going to see that uh, all of these five chrome windows are actually copies of the first one but without any cache and cookies so this is how you can access any website on the web uh, from all different locations by using vpn that you downloaded only on first instance so for example i'm just going to hit united states on the first one i'm just going to go here and uh, hit uh, some other country for example canada and so on and so forth so this is uh, the same process which you can repeat as long as you have uh, a lot of these vpns where you can connect yourself to now let's head here and uh, check uh, have we been connected so here it is united states here it is canada here it is russian federation netherlands and here should be ascension island so what are we going to do right now is just type what is my ip and uh, google should show you which is your ip here so we're just going to hit copy this and uh, paste it in every single window so that you can see that this works 
So here we see that this is uh, one IP address and if you go here uh, you can see that this uh, Chrome window has been connected to Montreal. Uh, this one uh, has also the different web address and uh, if we go here to what is my IP address website it is going to show also uh, another city and uh, if we go to uh, other uh, searches what we made we're also going to see that all of these uh, IP addresses have changed so here we can check literally for everything so uh, once you see this uh, kind of message you're going to know that you're into European Union area of uh, internet law so this is probably this uh, GDPR uh, which requires your consent uh, of mm, that you're aware that Google is actually monitoring your moves so for the purpose of this video I just show you how you can connect to the same address in this case Google from multiple locations from our around the world so this is how it actually works all right guys so if you learned something out of this video please check my channel here you're going to see a lot of videos that i have been pouring in recently and i'm sure you can find great tips and tricks here about uh, making money online or how to dominate reddit and other social media platforms so uh, if you like this simply leave me those thumbs up and uh, post your opinion down in the comment section below also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for new videos that